Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Here is the top that I've been knitting. I started this four years ago. I will put the link on how to knit the stitch. And uh, four years ago, so I'm trying to finish my whips. And I figured out how to knit the sleeve, picking up stitches. It was really, well, I did this in two pieces. It's really hard to sew them. So I said, you know, when you're used to knitting top down seamless, it's, it's really hard. <laughs> so I figured out how to pick up stitches. So on the sleeve, I'm going to show you how to do that. And uh, it, it goes fast and look at the end result. Look at the end result. It's just fantastic. This is linen yarn. So it gives you that this texture. Isn't this beautiful? And I've been knitting this on hot weather here in Edmonton, like 36, 38. And uh, believe it, we have, well, we have air conditioning just to point out. But uh, you know what I mean when you, it's totally different knitting with linen. And uh, it doesn't give you the hot. Yeah, this is a vintage yarn that I had in my stash. So I'm going to show you how to pick up the stitches. Let's get started. And I'll just show you the yarn. Okay. See? And then after when I'm done, what I do is I continue knitting, but I don't have enough yarn, so this is going to be short sleeves. But I'm going to separate the, the last bulb that I have. And then we'll go from there. Just wanted to show you. Isn't this fantastic? Well, I had to sew the shoulder, of course. But again, this is a plus size it, on my medium size mannequin. It does look huge. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I am going to start the same as this way. So, so there are 35 stitches here and 35 stitches on the other. By other, I mean where we where the shoulder seam is. So I need to pick up stitches on 35 each. I just, this is the first, well, I did do in the previous, but uh, it wasn't this good. So I think this turned out way better. Uh, I did check on YouTube. There are not many um, tutorials uh, showing how to do this. So I thought this would be perfect. Okay, let me just make a knot first to secure it. So as you can see, I'm starting on this side. And I'm just going to pick up randomly, but I'm trying not to go over uh, 35 stitches. And this is my last ball, so I need to be careful. I don't want to use up all of the yarn. I haven't blocked it or washed it yet, so uh, the colors are a little bit dark on some balls. I noticed even the lot uh, number were same. So I did share you the... Uh... Okay, let me just weave this as I go. So I'm going on each. <laughs> I'm crocheting, but I'm not. Okay, so I'm going to go on each knit stitch just like this and uh, my knitting needle is here and the knitting needle I am using is a carbon I do have a unboxing on this I love these needles so, uh, when it first came out I did uh, get the straight needle like the long ones 
so there's three but I like the circular okay the reason I like it because this part is short and it doesn't hurt my uh, here this part when it's long uh, straight needles they're pretty long and then it, it hurts it hurts this part and I notice these are way lighter so when you compare it because uh, I, do, I do get that question a lot how come you're only using circular needles? <laughs> well uh, if you're knitting um, seamless I've been knitting so I noticed 2004 uh, like four years ago I started uh, these so they were these were pieces and then after that I've been doing after four years I'm noticed non-stop I've been doing seamless so before that I was doing uh like I was seaming them I was sewing them and it's really really hard to sew these edges to have it equal on both sides and uh, the pattern I, do, I wanted to e have it e equal on each side but uh, unfortunately it didn't work that way as you can see even the numbers are same this one is way shorter this one is uh, higher as you can see I tried but it didn't work out so it's better to uh, knit them in one piece and you will get the professional look yeah if you're new to my channel i would highly recommend knitting seamless seamless is usually top down where you start from the bottom and knit the front and back one piece round and around okay if you see make a hole see this is going to make a hole so i'm going to go back and there's a little small knit here so i'm going to grab a stitch from there because if i do it here it's the stitch is going to be too big and don't forget to count two four six two four six eight ten thirteen i don't think i'm gonna have enough okay so i'm gonna go back because oh, i'm almost after well 13. maybe i could yeah let me just go back because i want to have 35 stitches okay so let's go back just like this so i'm not gonna waste your time uh see this is too huge so I'll try to uh pick up tight as you can and try to pick up Mine is 35 because this is a plus size. Maybe yours is small, going to be less stitches. So uh, I would highly recommend you to knit the one sleeve and then come back to knit the second. So uh, I will come back and uh, after picking up 35 here and 35 here, and I will show you how to uh, knit it up. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have picked up 35 stitches on the front and on the back. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be knitting. So I did put a marker. This is 35, 35 dividing. And I what I did is I put eight stitches on my shoulder, eight here, eight here. And I'm going to knit. So uh this is the last stitch I picked up. So I'm going to knit all the way to where the green marker is. Uh, like I said, mine is 35 stitches. 35, 35. So that's 70 stitches around where the armhole is. Uh, for uh, If you're going to be working on a children sweater or cardigan, I would advise four and then go from there and again it depends on your yarn uh, on mine i did eight and uh i think it turned out pretty good like i said i haven't blocked it or anything so eight stitches it's perfect for adult and again this is a uh, linen oh uh, yeah here we go let me just show it to you i had this in my stash this is what's it called it's 40% linen and uh, the rest is cotton, 60% cotton. Yeah, 
and mostly I am feeling the linen and it is very thin so uh, like I said I'm going to be knitting all the way Again, this is going to be around so there's no seam. It's seamless. I don't have to worry about seam. <laughs> you know, that's the thing about knitters, crocheters for us. It's it's really hard to sew it because you do all the fabric, right? You crochet or you knit and then uh, you finish it, but you have to sew them together to create the garment. That's the hard part for me. And uh, that's why I like working seamless. I don't have to worry about that. And at the end, oh, I have to sew them all together. Yeah, th that just makes me, uh, drives me nuts when I do that. So um, I have another one I'm working on. And it looks like I started, I went back to my YouTube tutorials and I started that stitch four years ago so I'm gonna it's gonna be like this but a different stitch and I'm gonna use the same method what I did on the sleeves pick up stitches okay so this is the eight this is my marker and uh, now I know I need to knit a total of 16 and then I'm gonna do a turnaround so, we're, so basically what we're doing is we're going to be doing short rows yeah to create this beautiful look and it's like doing the raglan picking up uh, one stitch at a time uh, we you do our increase okay so I'm right here I'm gonna knit the stitch okay this is my eighth and I'm gonna make one okay and I'm gonna turn around okay and I'm gonna come all the way here I'm going to, well, let's do it together. So this one, I'm not going to knit. I'm just going to slide it. And I'm going to purl these 16 stitches until I come to the marker. Oops. So this is the dividing part where the shoulder is and when I come to the purple I know I have knit 16 okay so this is the 16 I'm gonna knit this one and I'm gonna knit another one okay I'm gonna turn my work and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna slip this I'm not gonna knit it and then I'm going to continue knitting all the way where we did the turnaround. You can put a marker there if you want. But I know that it's a turnaround. I will put a marker. Okay, here we go. So this was the eight. And I did a turnaround right here. So you can see that it looks like a little bit weird. So I want to give that height to do that. I want to fix it. So I grab, I grab this one and I put this one, this uh, loop. So we have two loops and I'm going to knit them together. And it gives that nice uh, effect. And I'm going to knit this one stitch and I'm going to turn around. Okay, you can put a marker here if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you yeah, put a marker there which I'm gonna put this one here and I'm gonna continue knitting again I'm gonna slip this one I'm not gonna knit it and then I'm going to purl so we're doing the wrong side so we're doing seamless but as you can see we're doing it looks like we're doing flat like we're knitting back and forth uh, which uh, when we do seamless round we just knit 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 right but uh, to give this effect this beautiful uh, uh, sleeve effect this is how we knit this okay just to show you and I, I think it just looks fantastic yeah I might 
I will come back to do another tutorial and I will refer this uh, tutorial on that uh, video that I'm going to be making. I am planning to. So stay tuned. It's just time consuming. So uh, I will come back to show you that uh, video, that new uh, tutorial. Okay, so remember we did a turnaround. So what I do is I just pick this one here and I put this right here. And I knit them together just like this okay and then we fix that and then we knit one stitch and we do a turnaround and this is all we do we do this repeat one after another just like this and I slide this one I don't knit the fur the the the, the, uh, the last stitch that we did and then I continue knitting it's very easy and I think it's a brilliant, I know it's out there, but no one's doing a tutorial for this. I saw a Turkish lady who did it. And then I saw, I believe, a Russian lady who did it. But they're not giving you details like I am. They're just showing you how it's done. And uh, I'm showing you, like they're explaining how it's done. And I am sure I like to explain and show so you can see how it's done okay and then did i put a marker there no i did i didn't put a marker but you can see where we knitted the last stitch right and then we're gonna when we turn around we're gonna knit this one and when we come back we will knit this one and then it will give this gap so by by doing that turnaround we close that gap see there's a gap there let me just show you one more time okay see there's a gap there, but while doing picking this stitch and knitting this together, we automatically close that gap. Okay, and then we knit one. So we're knitting one stitch at a time, and then we're turning. Okay, oops, dropped it. <laughs> and this is all to it until you come to the last. Let me show you. We don't knit this one, sorry. We just slide this one, and then we continue knitting. Okay, let me just go back and show you. Okay. So you continue and then automatically see you create the sleeve. This is, this is, isn't this brilliant? Just love it, love it. Even done it. Yeah. So here, what I did is I, I only have uh, three stitches left to pick up. Okay, and then when you finish that three stitches, what you do is, it depends on my yarn, I'm using the last ball. So if I have leftover on this one, I'm going to continue equal knitting until I finish the yarn. Okay, just wanted to show you. So when you do the last three stitches, this three stitches here, you pick up one at a time and then you go round and around. And you, uh, you can put lace stitches, uh, anything you want to finish it up. But like I said, I don't have enough yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do single crochet and then make picots. I do have a tutorial for this. So I hope you like this tutorial. I just wanted to go over because I haven't done uh, anything like this. And I thought this would be perfect. Like I said, I haven't blocked it yet. So uh, I'm going to put a tag here. I'm going to first wash it. And then nicely block it and I will do a ta-da video <laughs> to show you the end result so I hope you like this uh, tutorial and uh, yeah so uh, I will see you on my next uh, videos next tutorials I am thrilled to finish another whip <laughs> this has been sitting for four years you guys take care. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that notification button so every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. Happy knitting. Bye-bye.